Only two mil of rain yesterday. That's since I tipped it out yesterday. Two mil. That should mean the cow's bed is dry. Ish. <laughs> Anyway, morning world, welcome to Sunday the 2nd of April and a different camera. Uh, my old GoPro 8 is starting to show, well show its age a bit, uh, all the little buttons that you press, they're all uh, decaying and falling apart and this GoPro 10 that I'm using now um, has been sat in my office since last Christmas. I, I was having issues getting the files off of this onto Windows uh, Movie Maker, didn't want to play. Anyway, I, I had a, sh a look around on the internet yesterday, found um, a little fix, a patch, which I put onto uh, Movie Maker, which seems to have worked, and I'm hoping that this is on 50 frames per second now, which I could never do before. I'm hoping that that's gonna cure the problem. Hoping. Right, um, I am off to Oxford later this morning with my missus but before I go I need to make sure that everybody down here is happy and fed they need a bail mount on this this is <coughs> on a mag mount um, don't know if I like it yet or not um, I don't know if it's gonna be as useful to me as the old clip-on mag one I had before but we'll see mm. you reckon you're still gonna want refreshing later on mm. yeah even though it didn't rain much last night they still managed to make a mess of it. Okay, you've got plenty of grub out there. Once again, they've chosen the bale they like the best and they're polishing that off and left the bale they like second best. It's all a question of taste, I suppose. Right, spikes there, that's there. Let's get started. Oh yeah, me thigh. It's better than it was. Doesn't hurt as much as it did, but it's still a bit tender. So this could be a short video today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna take the camera up to Oxford with me. I may, I might not, we'll see. Um, it might just be a bog standard. Oh look, he's driving this skid steer and messing about with cows. That might be all this is, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, the other thing you will notice is probably a difference in the sound because I'm using the medium mod on the GoPro 10 and this is an experiment. I just want to see what the sound quality is like on, on this before I try it with the um, the radio mic, okay? Yeah, it's taking me a bit of time to get used to this mount. Just a bit.
Magnetic mount, it's okay. The only thing is, I don't think it's really made for a GoPro. So the actual clip that mounts the camera to the, or to the mount, doesn't feel that secure. Some of them poor half starved creatures. Oh, yeah. Bloody magnet strong, I'll give it that. Okay. Okay, like I say, um, you'll have to take this video as like, the, what it is. It's experimental. I'm playing with a new camera. Although I've had this camera for ages, I've never used it. So, um, errors will be made. Lessons will be learned. I hope. Uh, right, that's okay. That's okay. I wonder if that water's gone away. So yesterday, with all the rain we'd had, the log yard was actually partially underwater. I didn't video it, which was a mistake, I should have done, because literally there was about 10 inches of water underneath the log bag where the guys have been working. Much water. And this morning, yeah, it's all gone. Still got stuff draining out of here, so a lot of this is actually coming from up round up on the road there. As I mentioned yesterday, there's a ditch along the back of the hedge there. It doesn't go anywhere. It's a blind ditch. So basically, any water that comes off the road gets in that ditch, and there's a lot of water on that road, it ends up coming down through here, which is a pain. A real pain, because the only way I can drain it is to dig a trench right down to the, yeah, all the way down there. Anyway, this was underwater yesterday. You couldn't actually see the bottom of the, um, of the frame that was underwater. There's not many logs out here to process now. A bit there. Some of that would be alright. Uh, we do have some stuff to give away though, so any locals want to come in for a bit of firewood. This is the Frida Collector pile, and that's poplar. So not the best stuff in the world, but it burns a lot better than fresh air. And it's free. All you've got to do is ring me, let me know, come in, take it away. Have it. 
you've probably already noticed, but we haven't got very far with barn painting. And again, that's down to the weather. Um, Tony came in. I know he wanted to put some on that old white paint there because he wasn't sure how well his paint was going to stick to it. Apparently he's got a magic ingredient that he puts to his, uh, makes it stick better. I think it's called petrol or something like that. Anyway, so uh, I'm assuming if we get a dry week, he'll be back in this week and get this finished and then the enemy bar will be, well, Cypress Green, which is a colour I quite like, which is just as well, really. The tree team tried to talk him into painting it pink. I told them they could have that, but they were paying for it. They decided the green was a better option after all. A wise decision. Oh, right, okay. Back on this this week. Hopefully we'll get uh, what we've got left to do. We've got to do render the wall, put the well, put the cappings on, render the wall, level the floor up, and then slab it with. Um, in, we've got some little Indian slabs. We're going to go and buy some more, just in case. We've already got two baskets of. Um, these two trays of them but the chances of a new one matching the same color is pretty slim and I don't think we've quite got enough to do everything I want to do so what I said to Dave is we'll go and get another uh, box of these we're gonna use them because we're gonna end up going right around the corner and what we'll do is we'll mix and match the colors from the beginning and that way you haven't got a sudden break of one color starting on another we can kind of blend it those who do this will know exactly what I'm talking about. Those who don't might get the idea. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, I can run. Could you cover it up? Yeah, no, I can run. It just hurts. in that other museum. Yeah. yeah. They found their bum with that. They found their bum with that. The bum. Uranus. Yeah, so that was that was the science museum. Well, that wasn't worse, is that just incredible? No, I think the last one was better than that, wasn't it? So, yeah, that was much better, yeah. Where are you going? You're trying to load me down? Okay. Oh, the library? Yeah. Okay. That's a posh library. Before, yeah, we? we bought two this, but we've not gone to there. Yeah, we walked around here months ago, didn't we? Yeah, but we Yeah, there's no people there, it's better. Yeah, but there's enough to do what? This is where we get to go through. Do those bells remind you of the happiest day of your life? Not being buried yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going? 
Right, we've just popped out into Headington, Oxford, and we made the decision we're going to go and find the Headington Shark. Don't look at me. I'm not interested. So it's down here somewhere then. New High Street. Oh, there it is. There you go. Could have bloody walked, Mr. Pullen. Yeah. <laughs> here. So, um, yeah. There it is. Got your shark sticking at the roof. This looks like a dead end. Can we not go anywhere? Can you turn? No, it's dead end. Turn, turn, turn down there. That's what I'm telling you. Down there. Kenny Kenny Road. Road. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and oh, then you'll yeah, come out, right. see? Okay. Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing. Oh, you can't, can you? Only because we leggers. So after all this time we've been up and down here, it's literally that close. We could have walked it, but obviously your leg wouldn't have allowed you. Well, I don't know. Do to walk it? Go back to the car park and we'll walk it? I think we may as well, haven't we? Yeah, because it's that close. It's that, it's now that close. Can you fit? Yes, you can fit through there. Yeah. That would make sense to me, to go back to that car park and... Um... All right. We'll walk it. <laughs> So we drove past, it's that close to the car park. We thought we'd do a walk past as well. Well, yeah, or a hobble past then. But, uh, the famous Headington shark. <laughs> I mean, why? Oh, it's great, but, but, but why? The rain's going into the roof. Eh? Yeah, well, it was on the TV a while ago, wasn't it, about... Um, yeah, because it was an ongoing planning thing. But the planners weren't very happy about it. We're now in the shadow of the shark. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> OK, I've just dropped Mrs P off. And she's still chuckling at my expense. Um, we've walked a couple of miles today. And with a swollen toe, and a bruised thigh. I've been limping a little bit, okay? And yeah, there's, um, I can't exactly remember the exact scenario, but, um, oh yeah, it was a guy who was trying to take a photograph or something, and I basically stopped in, in front of him so that he could take the photograph, I wouldn't, be, wouldn't take up his uh, picture. And um, he was obviously a very nice man, because he gave me the biggest smile in the, in the world, and winked at me, and, uh, as we were walking past, I said to Julia, I said, he just winked at me. And she said to me, I'm not surprised the way you're mincing down the street like that. And it's just, and it's just, she's just been chuckling about me mincing. I said, I'm not bloody mincing. My toe hurts and my leg hurts. She goes, no, you're mincing. You're mincing. <laughs> and you've obviously drawn some attention to yourself. Thank you very much, Mrs. P. Right, it is four o'clock. I've got two hours to get home check on my livestock, upload tonight's video, and I'm hoping nothing needs doing because all I want to do now is sit in front of my TV for an hour and do nothing because that's, we have walked miles. She shot her bolt, said Andrew, as he saw her break and fail, and he sounded gone away, lads, down Bonnie Longdon Dale, to me fall the doll the day. Do me fall the doll.